1번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, is it possible to see Dr. Harris today or tomorrow? I'm afraid not. Both days are fully booked. Then when will he be available? 2번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Rachel, did you make plans for winter vacation? Well, I'd like to go on a trip abroad this time, but I haven't decided where to go yet. Why don't you ask Christine for advice? She has traveled overseas a lot. 3번. 다음을 듣고 여자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello everyone. I'm Ms. Parker, the school librarian. As you know, September is the school's reading month. So, we're offering a variety of interesting book-related events. Today, I'd like to introduce an event you'll be interested in. It's a book cover design exhibition. The book covers are not designed by professional designers, but by the school's book club members. Each member chose one of their favorite books and redesigned its cover to express their feelings and thoughts about the book. The book covers are now on display in the library. Please feel free to drop by and take a look at the creatively redesigned book covers. Thank you. 4번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi Monica. I haven't seen you at the gym in a while. Yes. I've been out of town on business. Glad to see you again. I saw you running very quickly on the treadmill. Right. These days I'm gaining weight, so I decided to work out more intensely. Hmm. That's not a good idea this late at night. Well, I heard that running fast helps burn calories. That's right. But intense evening exercise is not good for sleep. Oh, it's not? I thought exercising before bedtime could make me exhausted and help me sleep. I'm afraid you're mistaken. Heavy exercise in the evening raises your heart rate and body temperature. So it prevents you from falling into a deep sleep. I see. Now I know why people say, Evening walk, morning run. 5번 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Hi, Mr. Jake Cooper. Welcome. Thanks for having me here. Actually, I'm a big fan of yours. I listen to your show every day. Oh, I'm flattered. So, you became famous as the creator of the peacock dance. I really love that dance, and so does everyone else. Well, I didn't expect that people would love the dance this much. Can you feel the peacock dance fever? Sure. I see people doing the dance everywhere. It's amazing. Yes. And the movements you created are very fun and easy to follow. Thanks. I came up with the dance moves after seeing peacocks at the zoo. Sounds interesting. I heard you're now developing dance moves for the dance team called Wild Things. Is that right? Yes. I'm working on a new style of dance with them. Awesome. Now our radio listeners have started sending in questions for you. We'll answer those after the break. 
6번 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Honey, I finished the poster for our garage sale. Good. Let me see. You put the banner that says garage sale in the middle. Yeah. I think putting it there will be eye-catching. You're right. I like the drawing under the banner. How about the teddy bear between the lamp and the table? It's really cute. I also like the striped dress next to the table. Thanks. What do you think about these two balloons in the top right corner? Hmm. Didn't we decide to put three? We did, but there wasn't enough room for three balloons. Okay. You put the date and location in a star. The star makes it stand out. Right. Is there anything I should change? No. It looks great. Chilbon. The w o r d go. Namjaga, y o j a r v e Halillo. 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Rina, what are you reading? Hi, Peter. This is a book that introduces simple yoga poses. I didn't know you're interested in yoga. I became interested in it recently since I heard yoga could help to relieve my back pain. Well, why don't you go to see a doctor first? Actually, I did, and the doctor recommended yoga for me. I see. Then how about taking a yoga class at the community center? When I checked, the class hours didn't fit my schedule, so I'm looking for some simple yoga poses I can do every day from this book. Then I'll send you some yoga video clips through email. You can follow the poses while watching them. Oh, that would be great. Thanks a lot. 8번 대화를 듣고 여자가 구입한 신발을 환불받을 수 없는 이유를 고르시오. Hello, how may I help you? Hi, I want to return these running shoes. Okay, when did you buy them? Last Saturday. Can I get a refund? Sure, you can get a refund anytime within seven days of the purchase. May I ask why you're returning them? I bought them for my daughter. But she doesn't like the design. Okay. Did you bring the receipt? Sure. Here it is. Oh, wait. This item was on sale for a special discount. We already informed customers there's a no refund policy for these special discount items. Oh, no. I can't get a refund then. I'm sorry. It's our policy. 9번 대화를 듣고 남자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Welcome to PA Fountain Pens. May I help you? Yes, please. I'm looking for something for my father's birthday. Then how about this one? It's a bestseller and it's $100. Well, my father already has it. Are there any special editions? Sure. We have a limited edition pen this fall. Here it is. It's $180. Looks good. My father will like it. I want to buy an ink refill too. It's $20. This week, we're offering a 10% discount on all purchases. Sounds good. Please gift wrap them for me. Okay. The wrapping service is an additional fee of $5. Is that all right? Yes. Here's my credit card. 10번. 대화를 듣고 미추 스타디움에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Hey, did you hear the news? No, what is it? It was officially announced that the city will build a new soccer stadium. It'll be called Michu Stadium. Oh, really? 
It's named after our city's old name. Very nice. Do you know where it'll be built? It'll be next to Central Park. Oh, that's not far from our school. Yes, and I heard it'll take two years to finish the construction. I see. I wonder how big it will be. The stadium will accommodate around 40,000 people. That's pretty big. I'm looking forward to seeing the first game in the new stadium. School Sports Festival에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mr. Patrick, your PE teacher. I'd like to remind you about the upcoming school sports festival. As you know, this festival is held every two years. I'm glad to tell you the sports festival will take place on October 12th this year. There will be five competitions. Basketball, soccer, volleyball, 100-meter run, and 400-meter relay. Each student can take part in a maximum of two events. Freshman dance teams will show their dance performances that day. I hope it'll be a good chance for students to relieve stress and build friendship. If you have any further questions, please contact the PE department. 12번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 여자가 구입할 소형 프로젝터를 고르시오. Anna, what are you looking at? It's a list of the five best mini projectors of 2017. I'm looking for one I could use for camping. Do you have anything specific in mind? I'd like one with a battery that lasts at least two hours after it's charged. Okay. Do you need wireless support for your projector? Sure. I want to connect the projector to my smartphone without using a cord. I see. What about the weight? If you're going to carry it around a lot, I guess the lighter the better. I agree. Then this leaves me with these two models. How much are you willing to pay for your projector? I don't want to spend more than $600. Then you have only one choice. Right. I'll buy that one. 13번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, what is it? It's a request for us to participate in a resident meeting. What's the topic of the meeting? It says that the apartment management office is considering closing the apartment sports center. Really? Why would they do that? It's because of its high maintenance cost. They want to hear our opinions before closing it down. That's such bad news. There are many residents who use the facility. It costs much less than other private fitness centers. You're right. Also, if the center is closed, there will be no more special sports events for the residents. There has to be a way to save the center from closing. Maybe discussing the issue at the resident meeting will be helpful. 14번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Ms. Howard, our students look really excited today. Yeah, they've been looking forward to our classroom wall painting project. They may not be the best artist, but doing the project themselves will make them proud. Right. Let's go over the details of what to draw and paint. Okay. We plan to paint the sun and some clouds at the top of the wall and some sunflowers along the bottom. Yes. We'll draw the outlines of the pictures and let the kids color them in. Okay. But don't you think some kids need help? They sure will. 
So, one of us should help them prepare to paint. All right. Then let's decide what each of us will do. Helen and Tom are good friends who like to see musicals. One day, Helen finds out the musical Rainbow Chasers will be playing the next week. The musical is one that they really wanted to see but missed last time. Helen and Tom agree to watch the musical together, so Helen books two tickets. However, the day before the performance, Helen gets a call from Tom saying that he won't be able to go to the musical with her because of an urgent business trip. Tom says he's very sorry that he can't go with Helen. Helen doesn't want him to feel bad and wants to tell him that she can see the musical with another friend. In this situation, what would Helen most likely say to Tom? 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 16번과 17번 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, everyone. I'm Erica Jones from Greenwood Health Club. Everyone agrees that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. But many people don't know what kinds of food are best for a healthy breakfast, and they ask us for advice. Here are some nutritious breakfast foods we'd like to recommend. First, Greek yogurt is filled with calcium. Add some honey to give it some sweetness, and it'll keep you feeling full throughout the morning. Also, kiwi has about 65 milligrams of vitamin C per serving, nearly as much as an orange. Make an egg and mushroom omelet to boost your intake of nutrients like vitamin D. Serving as an excellent source of protein, oatmeal is also a great option for a healthy breakfast. With these foods, don't skip your breakfast. Instead, make it even healthier. Hello, everyone. I'm Erica Jones from Greenwood Health Club. Everyone agrees that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. But many people don't know what kinds of food are best for a healthy breakfast, and they ask us for advice. Here are some nutritious breakfast foods we'd like to recommend. First, Greek yogurt is filled with calcium. Add some honey to give it some sweetness, and it'll keep you feeling full throughout the morning. Also, kiwi has about 65 milligrams of vitamin C per serving nearly as much as an orange. Make an egg and mushroom omelet to boost your intake of nutrients like vitamin D. Serving as an excellent source of protein, oatmeal is also a great option for a healthy breakfast. With these foods, don't skip your breakfast. Instead, make it even healthier. 16번 여자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은 17번 언급된 영양소가 아닌 것은